Keeping a drinking diary is a really good idea when you're doing the Sinclair method because you really want to see that extinction curve. Um, and what does keeping a drinking diary mean? All you do is write down how many drinks you have per day from the very beginning. And the reason why this is important is because a lot of people suddenly panic halfway through the Sinclair method. They've been on it a few months and they say, why did I drink so much last night? I was declining, 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 and suddenly I had a night where I drank a lot. That is totally normal. Think back to what the way you were before the addiction crept in. And let's say you were in your 20s and you were drinking normally. Once in a while, you would have too much to drink one night. But that didn't mean that you spiraled into a binge or the next day continued to drink. The same or something similar happens on the Sinclair Method. It could also be emotional triggers. It could be a number of things. Maybe you went to a family event and you just felt like drinking more. Don't lose hope. This is part of the process. And what's important about a drinking diary is so that you can track your drinking over the period of months.